This past December, as Julian Assange faced mounting legal issues, members of the site came together to form OpenLeaks. While information surrounding its launch has been quite vague, one of its co-founders and a former WikiLeaks employee, Daniel Dumscheitberg, did describe the platform at a recent conference. So what do we do? Um, we provide these three steps. We provide knowledge, we provide means and methods for submissions, and we provide a cleaning environment for that information that comes in. So is OpenLeaks the new WikiLeaks of 2011? To find out more, I spoke to one of its 12 current members in Iceland, Herbert Snarasen. How is it really planning on being different than WikiLeaks? The main visible difference between OpenLeaks and WikiLeaks is that OpenLeaks does not intend to publish documents directly, but to well, neither to publish nor receive documents directly, but instead to provide third parties with the ability to receive documents anonymously. The problem with WikiLeaks is that it tries to do too many things. So WikiLeaks tries to handle everything from the receipt of the document to the publication. And this means that WikiLeaks has, in a sense, a centralized spot where it takes on an awful lot of work, an awful lot of responsibility, and an awful lot of power. And our aim is to disperse all of those. I personally left WikiLeaks after Julian said to me a quote that has actually been published in a number of places where he said, I am the heart and soul of this organization, and ended with, if you have a problem with me, you can piss off. I do not want to have any sort of person affiliated with the project who has any reason to believe themselves entitled to say something like that. What exactly is the system that you are hoping to have in place? The system will actually work such that sources do not approach us, they approach the organizations that we will be working with. So on the web pages of these organizations, there will be probably a button that says submit information anonymously. Once you press that button, you come to an upload interface, quite similar to what WikiLeaks used to provide. And any information that is published through that specific interface goes through the organization that it's associated with. So the decision of which organization first gets access to the material is made by the source, not OpenLeaks. And so what is your place in all of this? Are you just simply creating a tech platform? Essentially, yes. We are only creating and maintaining a technological service that gets documents or information from sources to organizations that have a reason to work with anonymous material. But couldn't people just submit these things and approach these organizations directly? Why would they need open leaks? We have certain expertise that comes from working in this field for a while. And in particular, the thing is that receiving documents through the internet completely anonymously so that nobody can trace who you are is actually a pretty difficult thing to accomplish. Most digital documents provide what is called metadata. That is, it's information about the document itself. So that's information like who wrote this, for which organization, and all that sort of stuff. Microsoft Word, for instance, embeds information on the author and the organization of the author in pretty much every document that it produces. What we aim to do is to strip that identifying information out of the files before the media or the recipient has a look at it. Because in many cases, that sort of information could compromise the source. And this can be done more or less automatically. And it's really just a question of gathering technical information about how metadata is embedded in various different forms of documents. What, what needs to be understood is that what's going on is a movement that is considerably larger than what you 
see on the surface. It, it, it's like a hydra. You cut one head off and two new ones appear. And that really is the case with what's going on here. I want information to be generally available. I don't believe that organizations such as governments and corporations have an unlimited right to secrecy. And if we are successful, their ability to keep secrets will be severely constrained. Herbert told me that OpenLeaks plans to test out this new system with five organizations in the next two months and then ramp up to 100 organizations by mid-year. For CBSNews.com, I'm Shira Lazar.